Hello and welcome to this Wi-Fi Nugget Quick Start Guide. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Wi-Fi Nugget and demonstrating how you can use it to track down unwanted Wi-Fi devices, detect hackers on your network, and more. However, before we can get into what makes this one of the cutest portable cybersecurity tools out there, we first have to start with what comes in the box. Depending on which version you ordered, your Wi-Fi Nugget will either come completely pre-assembled or, for the more adventurous, as a kit that you can assemble yourself. Now, on the front of the device, we have a 1.3-inch OLED display and four buttons to navigate through the menus, which means you can use the Wi-Fi Nugget without needing to connect it to a computer. Next to that, we have a built-in RGB LED that serves as both an indicator light and as an individually addressable NeoPixel for WLED projects. Flipping over to the back of the device, we have the heart of the Nugget, which is the ESP8266 D1 mini microcontroller. Next to that are eight general purpose input-output headers, better known as GPIO pins, for controlling hardware, all of which can be controlled either through MicroPython, Arduino, or even WLED for making beautiful Wi-Fi controlled projects. Now you can control hardware like LED strips, relays, and sensors all on the go with just a few lines of code. Last but not least is the micro USB plug for both powering the device and uploading new projects to the Nugget. With your Nugget plugged in and connected to your computer, all you need is a Chrome-based web browser to get started. So don't worry about having to download any additional software. Once inside your web browser, simply navigate to nugget.dev and then click connect your Nugget. The website will automatically detect which Nugget you've connected and you'll see a list of all supported projects for your device, plus the option to erase it. From here, you can either choose from a variety of pre-made projects or you can upload your own custom binary all from the Nugget Dev Suite. And thanks to the Wi-Fi Nugget community, you can also find a growing number of community projects to port over to your own device without needing any coding experience. Now, once you've chosen your selected binary, you can then hit program to flash the Nugget, which will overwrite any existing projects you already had on the device. While uploading, you can also check on the progress in the serial terminal should any problems arise. With your Nugget now freshly flashed, simply unplug and then replug the device back in to run the new program. From there, you can either throw it in your bag to use everywhere you go, or you can connect it to the serial terminal to access even more options. Built right into the Nugget dev suite, the serial terminal allows you to send commands via keyboard directly to the Wi-Fi Nugget. This allows you to run even more powerful tools on your Nugget, and you can even do live programming in MicroPython. Now, speaking of projects, here are some picks for beginner-friendly projects you can try on your own Nugget to learn about ethical hacking. Feel like someone's attacking your Wi-Fi? Find out with the deauth detector, which alerts you anytime a jamming attack takes aim at your network. You can also track down any suspicious Wi-Fi device by signal strength, whether it's a suspected Wi-Fi camera at an Airbnb or a neighbor that moved into your Wi-Fi network, the V3 deauthor can scan, detect, and track down Wi-Fi intruders. Another way the Wi-Fi Nugget can detect hackers is by sniffing out Wi-Fi pineapples nearby with probe requests. Using the V3 advanced deauthor, we can send out probe requests for fake networks and reveal any pineapples creating phishing networks in response. When it comes to hardware, you can use MicroPython to control the Nugget's GPIO pins either via Wi-Fi or serial, making it perfect for building projects on the go. And for more creative builds, you can also flash the Nugget with WLED, which allows you to control beautiful LED projects over Wi-Fi, enabling art, wearables, and more. Last but not least, thanks to our friends over at Hackerboxes, you can play Arkanoid using the buttons and screen to enjoy this classic Brick Breaker game. As you can see, there are dozens of different ways you can use your Nugget, and best of all, if you ever get bored, you can always write your own programs for the Nugget, thanks to the MicroPython and Arduino integration. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Redia for hacking projects, cybersecurity news, and more.